The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? Takes it at the seven. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their six foot six quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Over the middle, complete into the hands of Tremble. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Uh, didn't get it by much, but bottom line, got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. He'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And he wisely will throw that one away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll drop the throw. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. There's Tremble, the tight end. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 43. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play. But we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one. Wound up hitting him for a first down. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Back to throw again. Pass to Tony Pollard out of the backfield. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Colts are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. They have confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day, and it very well could be, but early in this one, advantage defense. Ryan and the Colts getting set here, first and 10 at their own 26. After the interception, here's Ryan. This one completes Alec Pierce. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Throwing again on second down, Ryan. He'll get this to Lazard. Seven yards there and a first down. The Colts at 500 now, 4-4 four and four on the year. But Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? Well, I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but... Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. 
And I guess we're back to square one. A rocky, rocky start here. A turnover followed by a turnover. Not exactly what we expected going into the game, but I always wonder about the nerves and people starting, the emotions of the game. Sometimes it takes a little while for that to play out and for them to settle in. Let's hope that that's taken care of now. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. A gain of three, second down. Going to run again here with Pollard. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That third down conversion, good for 23. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one, the man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Back to throw now on first down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. From the 21 and second and 10. They'll set up to throw. And incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. They'll look to throw again. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Now here's the Panthers special teams unit to try a field goal for free. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And the Panthers stay claim to a 3-0 lead. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And they are back down to 500 following the loss last week. Consistency has been a real issue for them so far. Brandon, you almost don't know what team is going to show up every week. I mean, there's no consistency with this ball club at all. And if we feel that way, I know it frustrates the coaching staff. And it also has to frustrate the key leaders in the locker room. They got to figure out how to get coordinated. To throw again on second down, Ryan. And his throw here is incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Ryan. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. And incomplete on the deep ball. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. And it's fielded at the 34. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. The Panthers now set to take over offensively. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Again. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Back to throw. That caught by Tremble. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. Back to throw here. That pass complete to Moore. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. I know I'm an old defender, but I've got to give credit where credit's due. That was smart play calling right there on third and four. They didn't need to do too much. Just let their guy get out there and sit down in the zone. And they hit him for the completion for the first down. First down, he'll drop to throw. 
And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, he'll drop to throw. To the sideline, he's got the catch, and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. That gain on third down, good for 28. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down in bounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Panther football to start quarter number two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. He'll look to throw. Able to complete this to Chanel. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard, and he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Tony Pollard with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year as his guys are able to extend their lead. We got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space, but how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. Now for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. A 10 play drive that time, and it's finished off with a five yard touchdown run. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They go play action now. Ryan. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Throwing again on second and ten. Ryan, left side, he finds Pierce. And they get him down the mound before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards that time for number 14. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. First and 10, Taylor now. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. They go to the ground again with Taylor. A nice little juke. 
16 yards to pick up there. The Colts have a first down. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. They give to Taylor out of the gun. Down to about the 32. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now they'll throw it with Ryan. And that is incomplete. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Ryan. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So that Charles a season long right there. And you know he's really excited about that? The special teams coordinator, because he's the one who has to tell the head coach of pregame. This is where we trust him from. This distance, he can hit it. And he repaid that trust by knocking that one right through. And Smith chooses not to return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. So here are the Panthers set to take over. They are trying to snap that three-game losing streak on top so far with the football here first and 10. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. Bobby Okereke making that tackle. They had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for this jumping. Is on the defense. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So the penalty certainly helps them out as they come up on second and five. Now a give here to Pollard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. They'll look to throw now on first down. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. It's a nice completion and a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? On second down, it's Pollard. Gets around him, and he is out of bounds inside the 35. Give him 15 there, and the Panthers have a first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Our score, 10 to 3, with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Looking to throw. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far in second down. Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Time to give them credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Are you crediting your defense? Got to credit them on that one. 
because they tried to fool him, right? Tried to trick him. Ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Out of the gun now on third down. There's Tremble, the tight end. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now here's the Panthers special teams unit to try a field goal for three. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. And that'll be off the crossbar and out and short. He couldn't get it there. It's no good. And this will remain a one touchdown game. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Looking to throw again on second down. Ryan, and that's caught left side by Mo Ali Cox. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Oh, he's got his tight end, Mo Ali Cox, complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ryan will throw again. He'll find Taylor. That's complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And his kick is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal. Not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we come upon halftime intermission here with the visiting Panthers taking the lead in the locker room. As we'll send you down to the end of the check in with Joe and Coach from the Indian Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, all right, Brandon, thank you very much. Time for a check of the next gift set in the first half of Carolina. And their passing game has been the reason why they lead thus far. They've had great success moving the ball through two quarters of play. Meanwhile, for the Colts, they did not have quite the same amount of success in the passing game that their counterparts did, as you get a look at the numbers there. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Now it's Ryan. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. 
You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it will set him back for second down. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. So a nightmare start to the drive as they're already staring at second and long. They run once more with Taylor. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Ryan hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. The 20, 10. And he takes it into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery and a touchdown for the Panthers. We know this defense has some playmakers. We saw it right there. Well, really, we've seen it the whole game. Isn't it nice to see that on the opposite side of the ball? Respect, my man. Respect. <laughs> the defensive guys are outscoring their opposing offense. Yeah, they're outscoring him indeed with that score alone. One after here coming up. It's good, and now it's an 11 point lead, 17 to 6. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Colts now, their offense works their way back onto the field. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Got a man. That's Lazard. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pickup there, 26 yards. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. From the shotgun, Ryan. Hits his target, the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. On second down, it's Taylor. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double him and get 10 here. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quicker. Right You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? He brings a little bump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. Back to Taylor on first down. And not much running room. Down to the 32. On second and nine, Ryan. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Ryan. Got his man, it's Bo Melton. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 22-yard line. Another good reception there the Colts on the march. Yeah, what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. Up the middle, here's Taylor. 
And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, Jonathan Taylor, like most guys from Wisconsin, he's not one to shy away from contact. He proved it right there. And with a guy his size, you have to know defensively that arm tackles aren't going to fly with him. You have to be able to wrap up, or else he can just brush tacklers aside like they're not even there. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Hines, and this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Hines again, pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. They'll look to run with Taylor. Yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. This defense continues to be good on third down. I mean, they haven't allowed a touchdown offensively. Are you saying, let's go for this? Let's try to get it in the end zone. I don't know about that because of what you just described. They've been so good, and they don't give up the big play that you would expect in downs one through three. Why should fourth down be yeah, any different? True. You might want to go ahead and kick the field goal and see if you can figure out something else as this game moves on. Looking for Pearson. He's got him. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Alec Pierce, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Colts' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got yeah, to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. So the celebration in the end zone, but meanwhile, we do have an injured player. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. Takes it at the 7. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Swinging this out for Pollard. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I believe I can see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught 11 on the field. Those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. Here we go on second and 12. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. Back to throw now on first down. Finding more on the out route for the completion. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Again, he'll drop to throw. That caught by Tremble. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Four yards the pickup, first down. 
Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to put him a touchdown and a two-point conversion up. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And they'll be unable to build here onto their five-point lead. This is still going to be a one-score game either way, but still, that's a potentially harmful miss here in the fourth. It certainly is, because if you consider that now if they give up a touchdown, they give up the lead. So he might be getting the side eye by the defenders coming out on the field now as he goes back to the bench after that miss. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Now Ryan. And he's got Pierce. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards on the play. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around to make the play on the football. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. He's got the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And they're going to work this down to about the 32 yard line. From the gun, it's Taylor. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulder square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. On first down, Ryan. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And down inside the 15 he goes. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Again, it's Taylor. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The Etor Gross Matos there to bring him down. Second and 10. Here's Ryan to throw. And this is incomplete. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Ryan. That's complete to Lazard. And he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the nine-yard line. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Yeah. 
Here we go. It's Ryan on fourth down. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. I'm not sure I'm absolutely crazy about that play call there. I mean, it's only a one-score game, so is it really time to go bombs away and try and make a big play? I think you can take some underneath stuff and still move it downfield. And on to the field, here come the Panthers. They get the crucial turnover just huge, but now they've got the football deep in their own territory, and you got to be careful because if you give it right back, there goes your lead. Have to be extremely happy with their defense. They received a gift, that takeaway. Even though they're deep in their own territory, now they have the football. And you know there's always that alpha on defense, that grouchy guy. Forget what the coaches said. I'll guarantee you, he told the quarterback, we just took care of you, now you take care of us. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard game brings up a third down. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here. Second and 11. Run for Pollard. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Out of the gun now on third down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So Matt Ryan of the offense, down by five, a minute 40 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Throwing now is Ryan. Pass complete to Taylor. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. Ryan to throw. It's complete, Lazard. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. And now a stoppage, and it looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Here's Ryan. And Lazard's got it again. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Ryan. Able to find Lazard. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Counting down to 30 seconds remaining. Now Ryan. That's complete to Pierce. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Second and two. He'll look to throw. He'll drop this down to Taylor. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. Ten seconds to go. Back to throw. And this is incomplete. 
Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. One last shot for Ryan. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, they got the tip they were looking for, but couldn't secure it. And this one's over. Well, Charles, a pretty exhilarating finish to the end of this ball game. At the end, the Hail Mary prayers, though, they went unanswered. Could have won it, but couldn't get it done. Almost fell schoolyard or playground, didn't it? Yeah, you remember when you called that play? Everybody just go along <laughs> and try to find some.